Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So I will try to keep this video pretty much as brief as possible because I just did have a 50 minute kind of like live reaction and breakdown stream where we went over uncollected Qualier and Thronebreaker offers. And uh, overall there are some good things and there are plenty of bad and there are plenty of underwhelming things. So before anything else, I want to make it absolutely clear I will be getting majority of this stuff, but the reason for that is 100% because of you guys and your generosity and your amazing support. And without you, I would not be able to do that and many other things. Without your support, I would not even be able to be sitting here right now recording this video. So for that, I am grateful. I do appreciate every single one of you even if you yourself are not in a position to uh, support the channel in any monetary way, the fact itself that you're watching this video right now is super helpful. And as such, I need to treat it that way. And uh, I do think uh, that uh, that is a well, wonderful relationship. I really do try my best to save plenty of people, units, upload guides on everything that comes out and just try to provide a place for you guys to hang out in my live streams and everything else. And uh, of course, I am extremely grateful for all your support. That being said, let's get to the meaty uh, bit of the video. Uh, we went over uncollected offers, and I do not think that uncollected offers are pretty much worth it at all. If you are a very, very new player that's just starting the game, I still think that... Uh, the money will be more useful spent afterwards. Um, I do think that you should save your money, save your units until you have become a Valier, and then you can start looking to kind of like dedicate yourself uh, further for the game. Uh, if you have 5,000 units or 3,000 units, do not uh, rush to buy that uh, unit offer. Just grind out some content and wait for the next big sale. I did not see anything at all nearly worth enough for uncollected uh and well everybody gets pretty much uncollected offers so for those my recommendation personally would be stay away as far as while your offers went we went over them and there was a relatively decent improvement to cyber weekend offers and they still were not great uh, as far as the unit bundles go i'd probably recommend staying away from those for a while as well as and the cash offers themselves for Cavalier players if that Odin I think was the only one that had the selector in it that would help you become Thronebreaker and I think it is a decent investment because you still get the units there's plenty of extra materials but uh, for most of the cow players uh, unless you know exactly what you're getting for it as in like step to becoming Thronebreaker a personal recommendation would also be not make this time you overexert yourself and spend more money than you should rather focus on becoming Thronebreaker by Cyber Weekend and then spend all the money on those offers uh, at the Thronebreaker rate and again if you can buy an Odin and become Thronebreaker and get access to Thronebreaker stuff then fair play uh, you have three days to do so and uh, let's take a look at Thronebreaker offers. Ultimately, cash offers were quite disappointing pretty much up until the Odin. Even Odin is not that exciting. 25% TF5CC selector is like mild improvement over 20% TF5CC selector, but there are no like new exclusive items. Six Star Nexus has been moved up price wise, Six Star Signature Stones has been moved down. And overall, there is a decent value. Obviously, if you spend money on this game, it's better to spend it now than it would be buying Odin just not getting anything extra. But also, I think that these offers kind of show that uh, there is no need to try and grab everything. For pragmatic players on a budget, for Thronebreaker players who are trying to get further in the game and progress, my recommendation personally is. To focus on the six star signature stones if you spend uh 100 which would be like odin's worth you would get thirty thousand six star hero crystal shards and you would get uh 
105 6 dash signature stones and all the units that is a great value six dash signature stones still are rare and that is the first priority that i would recommend to thronebreaker players uh, even if you are thronebreaker who doesn't currently case the prestige race i think in combination with the six star shards it still gives you quite a lot of value units six star shards and the signature stones that are quite rare i do not think it's quite worth chasing those uh, nexuses here for 50 bucks if you can't afford it so i do think that the first priority should be these offers might not be the shiniest one but sign six star signature stones are very rare and uh, you should capitalize on the point that they have been moved down from $50 bundles to $30 bundles. So that is the most important thing that I recommend picking up. And obviously, other than that, if you can afford it, then Odin does represent the best value, uh, I think. Uh, and rest is up to your choosing. But uh, for instance, uh, the Starlord loot bag is borderline worthless. I really wish i had more units saved up but i use them for like overseer grind and some other arena grinds because uh i don't really want to buy these um unit offers however for throne breakers that is a completely different story i think uh the unit offers bar the first one are amazing i think the first one thousand unit offer is extremely ugly for me personally but it still represents a decently good value if you still value five stars and if you need that five star awakening gem if you need that five star awakening gem 1000 units for this offer is well worth it for me i wish i didn't have to buy it but i do if i want to access the rest of the stuff because out of everything in this bundle there's only one item which is 5000 six star shards that actually remotely interests me. Obviously, any six star shots do interest me. But rest of the stuff, I don't know why they put it there. But uh, hey, if you still chase a ton of five stars, if you need that five star awakening gem to maybe awaken a gun or something else that would help you to, I don't know, beat Abyss or something, then uh, yeah, it is a decent good value for 1000 units. Then 4000 unit bundle. Is already a good value 4000 units for a six star nexus for tier six basic fragments three tier five basic uh catalysts and some six star signature stone crystals i think that is a good decently good value and when it comes to 10,000 unit deals i think that first one is the biggest trap ever first of all it looks great 75 six star signature stone crystals but uh statistically you're basically going to be getting uh what about 10 12 of each class it's not going to make that big of an impact i think and the rest of the stuff that 2020 nexus hero crystal again it's very very alluring and still i would recommend for thronebreaker players who have progressed further in the game definitely if you're a relatively new thronebreaker player and you're getting these this one maybe makes sense but from my standpoint from my viewpoint i personally for people who are a bit further in more competitive alliances maybe recommend avoiding this nexus bundle and going for the superior catalyst bundle because it obviously has significant amount of tier 6 basic and tier 3 alpha which is the hottest current resource that uh, uh, the bigger spenders the top uh, players are chasing but on top of that you also will have six star signature stone selectors in there you're going to have full tier 5 class catalyst selector which still represents a good amount of value and for six star featured crystals but the most important thing is not to miss out on the top tier rarest resources uh, yeah so i personally will be going for the superior catalyst bundle and uh the three thousand units six star awakening gem yeah that's dope that that that's a good deal <laughs> if if you make it all the way up there get it do not let it go to waste uh, that is uh, my personal breakdown i do hope some of you find this useful so basic breakdown is uh uncollected offers very bad in general uh, across the board cav offers not too stellar but odins do have the tier 5 class catalyst selectors and that can help you become thronebreaker uh 
other than that, not the greatest ones, uh, still better than they were before. Unit offers, not too amazing either. Uh, throne breakers, cash offers, somewhat disappointing, definitely. Uh, prioritize the six star signature stones and then the Odin itself. Plan to your budget, don't spend more than you can. And uh, yeah, I hope this video was uh, remotely useful. Let me know what you guys think about these offers and uh, I will catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about